this is how you will subtract on function. Still, you have to remember three things, replace, operation, and simplify. So we have here the given f of x is equal to 5x minus 7, the g of x is equal to x plus 1, and h of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x minus 10. So let's go to first sample. Finding f minus g of x is also equal to the function of f minus the function of g. Remember, you have to replace on step 1. Replace the value of f of x by 5x minus 7, which is referred to your given. While g of x is equal to x plus 1, remember to put parentheses for you to be aware if there are changes on sign. Number 2. You have to do the operation. So, remember here, you only need to add or subtract these same variables by combining like terms. So let's say for example, you have 5x, then negative x minus 7 minus 1. So the simplified value, which is our last step, which is that it becomes 4x minus 8. Why? Because 5x minus x is 4x while negative 7 minus 7 is negative 8. For sample number 2 when you find the value of f minus h of x is also equal to f of x is equal minus h of x. Replace by the value of f of x which is 5x minus 7 and put the parent in parentheses the value of h of x. That becomes 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x minus 10. Do the operation. So here, you need to distribute the negative sign on the value of h of x. That becomes negative 3x cubed, negative times positive 2x squared. That becomes negative 2x squared. Negative times positive 9x, that becomes negative 9x. Negative times negative 10 is positive 10. Again, you need to remember, you only have to add and subtract the same variables by combining like terms. So as you could see on the operation, you will do both addition and subtraction. Remember, if there are no like terms, then you have to copy that. For the simplified answer, that becomes negative 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 3.